Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a hell shot mukbang. And I'm going to be looking at your guys' assumption of me and answering some of your questions, okay? So I did this poll on Instagram, so if any of you guys are not following me on Instagram, you guys need to go follow me on Instagram at anisha.adams. I usually ask questions and do polls and everything, so if you guys want to be a part of the next one, Follow me on Instagram, like my Jamaica pictures on Instagram, and you guys will see like a lot of like short videos of my life and everything like that. And let's get into this video because the sun's setting on me. So I'm gonna have to like lean over for this entire video because I try to focus it on the food, but I'm trying to get myself in focus as well. So let's talk about Hellshot. So number one, first of all, Hellshot, like I'm comparing it to a little Ochi. And I was like, yeah, little Ochi is like way more affordable than Hellshot. Now I understand like Hellshot is like, it's known all over the place. People from all over the world go there. All those great things. So I understand, but like I was comparing it to a little Ochi. I was like, yeah, I'll stick with little Ochi <laughs> in Manchester. All this right here that's in front of me, which we're going to go through, cost $5,500. Are you mad? <laughs> if you're watching this video and you don't know what Hellshot is, so basically it's like a place on on the beach in front of the sea that sells like all seafood basically so it has all these seafood restaurants and like you just pick whatever restaurant you want to go to and then you have seafood and whatever else they serve at these restaurants right so i went there and it was oh by the way this is my first time eating health shop food if anyone's wondering <laughs> i'm excited to try this there's just so much to choose from literally so i want you guys to comment down below and let me know where i should go to eat at Hellshot, like which restaurant, which restaurant's your fave, do you find it affordable there? Obviously I can afford it, it's just that go there if you really want to spend a lot of money. And I got this for all 5500 when I was at, when I'm at Little OG, I can get a whole like huge table full of food for like that price or a little bit over that price. Now this is nothing. Anyways, let me know what your guys thoughts and stuff are down below. I feel like, I hope you guys can see me. Also comment down below what your favorite seafood is. Mine is shrimp, okay? And that's what we got. I got curry shrimp. Oh, speaking of shrimp. So at Little Ochi, like say if you buy like a pound of shrimp, they can season it up them any amount of way that you want. So like half of it fried and then half of it curry, they'll do that. And then you can buy like another pound and they'll do half of it garlic and other half whatever. Here they're like, no, you only pick one style and that's it. And I was like, I was like, what? Calm down, number one. And number two, I was like, whatever. So little Ochi literally spoils us because they will literally split a pound in half and then season it two different ways for you. So let me show you guys what I got. I'm so excited. Shrimp is my fave. Hey, when they showed me the shrimp, I was like, okay. Okay. So it was basically 3500 for this shrimp. Yeah. So a curry, I think they put lettuce in this. Okay, it makes sense. They probably thought I was going to eat it then. Smells good. Hopefully, it tastes good. They cut up. They cut up this biggie, man. I'm gonna take out the lettuce, of course. I have water right here in this cleflas cup. Yes, I wash my hands. If anyone is wondering, okay. And then I have my plastic fork, and of course, I have my napkins. They gave me a lot of napkins, and then they gave me some festival, and they just wrapped in here. Let me turn this around because I burnt up the festival. I was trying to um, warm it up on the stove. They gave me like six. I gave some to my dogs and my cats so they wouldn't be making noise up in this video because if my cats are here, they would have been like, meow, every two seconds. And then he was like, oh, I'll throw in some plantain. So I got some plantain. We're going to taste all this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I got parrotfish. That's what it's called. They gave me parrotfish. I never had this fish before, so I was like, let me eat it. So he fried it, of course, because I only like fried fish. Uh, isn't that weird? Yeah. Like, I'll eat fish steam, but I prefer it fried. I told him, like, make sure you guys season it properly because <laughs> I don't want no fresh fish. So they did that. I hope you guys can see all of this. Let me. So let's go into the cute. Let's start off with the assumptions, actually. Let's start off with the assumption. Okay, so I have my phone here, and I'm just going to go through these a lot. Oh, also, thank you guys for actually responding. I literally thought no one was going to respond, and I was like, I can't do this video because no one's going to respond, and this is so embarrassing. So the first one is, my first assumption <laughs> is someone said, I'm outgoing, passionate, down to earth, and clean. Yes to all this. I have to be clean. Clean is like really important to me. House, everything. I am outgoing. I am passionate. I'm down to it. Yay! Someone was like, cute. Thanks. So someone was like, that you're an awesome person. Thanks so much. Um, someone was like, oh, let me start eating. Like, why am I here not eating? Let me try this shrimp. I feel like this tastes good. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, whatever. Um... Oh yeah, and then um, the fish was like 1,700 a pound, and mine was like a pound and a half. And then they gave me the festival and the plantain um, for free. The cat came back. 
Mm -mm. Sometimes when it comes to festival, I can't really eat too much because some people make it so... How would you say it? So, ew, the festival has so much oil in it. Come. You want some? The animals are all here beside me, so... I don't like it, huh? Oil. Like, all I can taste is the oil. We're all like... Someone was like, cool content, by the way. Thanks! And then someone's like, you don't care what anyone thinks of you. Trust me, I don't. And you guys have such good analysts because in life, we can't be caring about what people think. That's one thing I'm gonna tell you guys. That's the last thing I would do. Just care about people. I don't know, i just never been like that. Especially if you don't know me. I could care less about what you think about me, so... Yeah. Someone was like, my assumption is I think you're just having fun with your life until you decide to settle down. I'm gonna have fun with my life when I do settle down and now. Like, I'm still gonna be the same person. I like going out, I like doing things. Regardless if I get married, I'm still gonna be doing all this stuff, right? Someone's assumption is that, that you're down to earth and love to have a good time. Yes, I love to have a good time. Even when I'm working, I like having a good time and I try to be down to earth as much as possible. Life is just so much better that way. Um, so now someone else's response is you're nice, but you have a little tolerance for people I do for people's foolishness. She said especially if you're an adult and you're keeping up beer foolishness mm -mm, We're not gonna work Room mm, I cannot Work out keyword foolishness. I am nice. So someone's like do you speak Pacho? I never heard you speak it in your video So it was just curious curious. <laughs> I do <laughs> Maybe you don't watch all my videos. That's why but I do cats literally making up so much noise The shrimp is like okay. It's very peppery. I have I've had better shrimp but their food so far is not even that like good. Um, this festival can get given to the animals. They're all literally around me. Like they're all just standing around me. Anyway, so someone's like, my assumption is that you're cool and down to earth and very humble. Yeah, I try to be, thank you. Someone else was like, based on your video, I think you have a pure heart and that makes you beautiful both inside out. <laughs> well, sir, thank you. So someone else was like, do what you please and you're also living your best life. Yes, I try to as much as I can do what I, whatever I want to do. And then, yes, I try to live my best life because guys, we literally only have one life. So live it as great as you can while being responsible, right? Someone's like, my other assumption is you don't stand to foolishness. I don't, man. You guys have such good analysts about me because these are accurate so far. And someone's like, you're down to earth and fun to be around. Well, I try to have, make people have fun with me and I try to be down to earth. So someone was like... My assumption is you're crazy for moving back to Jamaica. That's all I have to say back to you. Someone's like, you are very nice, warm, and welcoming. I try to be you. I try. Someone else was like, oh, this is my brother. He was like, you're going to be rich. I'm going to try to be rich. You guys should follow my brother. This is his at. You guys can go follow him if you want. I'm going to try to be as rich as I can, guys. Someone was like, my assumption is you're mean, no? Huh? I don't know what that means, but I'm not mean. Well, I am. I can be, actually. I can be. I'm not going to lie. Especially, I'm only mean to people who are rude to me. Or mean to me. That's literally what it is. Someone's like, uh, my assumption is you're a go-getter and you're positively de determined. This is how it looks so far. Okay, let's have some of the fish. The plantain is like a 1 out of 10. Anyway, so we're going to try this fish, this parrot fish. Can they see? Um, Hellshaw, Hellshaw. Everyone goes here, so I was like, let me just do a mukbang because I never had their food before. And let me go. So Hellshaw is in Portmore. I literally went to Portmore for this. I brought it all the way back to my yard. I don't like um, bone, and I don't like fish head. Is that weird, guys? I don't eat fish head, so my dogs can have this. Boom, bad for that. Well, this has so much bone in it. Someone's like, you're very professional and prioritized in your career as a YouTube blogger. I rate you. Thanks so much. I try to be professional and I literally prioritize YouTube because like that's my income, right? So that's my full-time job. So I try and do that. Fish is okay. This is fresh, man. What's wrong with these people and their fresh fish? Listen, the food I have at Little OTK is banging. Like, it tastes so good. Honestly, I feel like it's a restaurant I went to that. Because usually everyone talks about how good like the food is at Hellshaw. So I don't understand why I'm not getting... <laughs> The food everyone else is talking about. Someone was like, my next assumption is that you're adventurous. Guys, in Jamaica, like it only makes sense for you to be adventurous because like there's so much things to do, so many places to go, like it's just a spot, right? Someone's like, you seem fun as hell. If my butt ever gets out of can I make it down there, I'm gonna find you. I'm reading through these so fast because the sun's setting on me. So what I'm gonna say is just try and find me. The next one is my assumption of you that you're not single. And then someone else's assumption is like, single? Guys, I am. I am. So someone was like, it's not good. Some, it's not good to give assumption, but I think you're awesome. Thank you. Someone was like, um, my assumption is you're very humble and love to explore new places. I love to explore new places in Jamaica. 
and I try to be humble. I wouldn't really think, see myself as humble, but <laughs> and then someone's like that, you're very thrifty. Yeah, 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 nothing wrong with that. Someone's like, my assumption is I want to do an illustration with you, but you probably call it a fan. All right, literally do it and I'll post it. I like when people draw things of me. Someone drew a picture of me, I'm gonna put it on here. Let me know if you guys like this. Someone literally draw, drew it of me and sent it to my DM. <laughs> Literally, you draw me an illustration. I like that stuff, man. I've always wanted someone to do it for me. Someone was like, my assumption of you is that you're too secretive. I'm literally not. I'm not. I'm not. Someone's like, I assume that you're a naturally kind person. I try to be okay. Okay. Someone's like, my assumption about you are that you are down to earth. Someone's like, so my assumption is that you're picky with food. I am not. As long as your food tastes good, but I'm not picky. I'm literally not eating this. Okay, yeah, the fish is kind of like, um, I keep on forgetting about this. I'm just trying to go through all these. How much do I have left? I am not picky with food. Someone's like, my assumption is that you're single. Actually, even if I was in a relationship, someone's like, girl, it's no assumption that you're super sweet. Hi, Kim's beauty. Kim's beauty is super sweet in real life. Okay, so I'm done with the assumptions. Woo! If you guys have any more assumptions, put them down below in the comments so I can do like another video. Okay, so let's go into the questions. I'll try and read a few. First question was like single or in a relationship. Single, someone was like, can I be your roommate? That's not a question. Oh yeah, it is a question. I won't ever do roommates in my life. But if I ever do, I will consider you. How about that? Someone was like, what are the best affordable hair companies to purchase from? I don't, I honestly don't know. I know that I like icy hair. Like their hair texture is really soft and smooth and just looks really good. But there's literally people on YouTube that tell you like the top five companies to buy from AliExpress. Literally watch them because they're good. I watch them all the time. Someone's like, did you relocate a loan from Canada? Yes and no. Or yes. I don't know how to answer that. Someone's like, do you still feel safe vlogging in Jamaica when you go out in town or bad areas? I feel safe all the time. <laughs> The only time when I feel unsafe is when like Pita Gay Life Life, you guys probably, I don't know if you guys watch her on YouTube, she's just so fraidy fraidy of everything all the time. You guys saw me like, I did the whole living in one week in the ghetto and I recorded downtown, I recorded like everywhere and it's fine. Like, yes in town I would feel a little bit more like cautious, cause there is a different set of people in that, that whole entire um, parish of Kingston, St. Andrew. <laughs> but in Manchester no, like I feel like people are civil in Manchester and stuff, so no, not at all. Even when I go to ta bad areas, I don't because I just don't put the camera on random people and stuff like that. And then someone was like, or those lashes, which lashes are those? If you guys are wondering what lashes, it is probably like AliExpress. Guys, I don't want no more of this. But like no, like literally don't listen to my like mukbang. Like their food is usually good. Because even though it's my first time, but I've heard so many like stories and stuff. People are like, oh my god, how's your food? I love little Ochi food. So if you guys ever come to Manchester and you guys want seafood, little Ochi. But anyways, someone was like, were you born in Jamaica or did you born in Canada? I was born in Canada. How did you sustain yourself in Jamaica besides doing YouTube? Any side hustles? I legit only just do YouTube. For now, I'm going to be doing some businesses in the future. Um, you guys will like like it when I start it. It's not gonna be like clothes or shoes or hair or anything like, but you guys are gonna like it, and you guys will come to Jamaica for it. So, would you like to raise your children in Jamaica? Yes, yes, and yes. I need them to speak Patois. I need them to experience Jamaican life and eating milk and bulla and going to river and like catching crayfish and baiting down at river. They need to experience all of that. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't even think they give bulla milk at school anymore. <laughs> Comment down below below like of this video if you were in school during the time they gave you like pink milk and bulla and even like white milk and bulla. Anyway, so did you attend any college? You did you attend any college? You articulate very well. I've attended university. Thank you so much. Have you ever been in in a relationship with a Jamaican man yet? <laughs> I don't know why I read it like that, guys. I'm gonna have a video. I'm gonna like it for you guys to watch. It's all about dating in Jamaica and everything, and that's with Bikana. So any other dating questions, I'm gonna just guide you guys to that video because I'm 10 out of 10 gonna answer it in that um, video. So someone's like, how do you go about finding events to attend exposed networking events? All on Instagram. Instagram, I see them in ads or just like it'll pop up on my feed because I'm following some like event pages. That's what you guys may have to do if you if you guys are on Instagram. 
So someone's like, yes, how can I set my channel for live stream with my phone? I don't do live streams. I won't ever do live streams, so I can't help you with that. But YouTube is your best resource to like search up questions and all that stuff. Someone's like, are your Jamaicans okay with foreigners move back to the beautiful island? Yeah, I doubtly care. The only thing that I see like Jamaican people complain about is like like the non-black foreigners are like buying up all the places and the government's like giving them everything. So I could understand their frustration with that it's because that's kind of annoying still. Everyone's like, how's living in Kingston been for you? Yeah, I don't live in Kingston. And if I did, I would probably say I'm Hot. <laughs> Someone's like, what's my star sign? It's a Virgo, if that's what you're asking. Someone was like, how old are you and what is your relationship status? I am 23 currently and I'm single. Someone's like, are you single? If yes, what are you waiting on? Jamaicans are fine one for the first most part. It is so true. Guys, I'm gonna have a whole dating experience and dating in Jamaica video because we're gonna talk about how nice Jamaican guys are and all of those great things and when we have to marry one. But yeah, go watch that video. Someone was like, how long you've been in living in Jamaica and what you do for money? So YouTube and I've been living here for like two years now or almost two years. It's been the best. I love it. I've never looked back. The best decision I made. Someone was like, do you have dual citizenship or are you only a citizen of Jamaica? I have dual citizenship. Okay. So this suggestion you should package your experience and offer vacation option, get Airbnb and offer tours. That's a good idea, but that's not my style though. But that's good. Someone's like, what do you sell hair? Nair. What's your weekly grocery cost? I'm gonna do a whole video on it. So you guys stay tuned to that for that. But it's a I don't shop weekly, I probably shop monthly or every two weeks. Um, but it's high. It's very high. Um, someone's like best safest areas to live in Jamaica. I don't know, but I love Manchester and I would recommend Manchester. The crime rate is like the lowest out of the whole island, I'm pretty sure. It's in Manchester. Someone's like, have you started dating since moving to Jamaica, guys? Watch my dating in Jamaica experience and tips video. Someone's like, what type of job did you find to be able to pay rent and survive in Jamaica? Do people not know that you can literally get paid from YouTube and YouTube people be making money from brand deals and working on YouTube? So that's that. How would you differ differentiate relationships abroad versus relationships in Jamaica? Guys, we are going to talk about in my dating in Jamaica video because I, we literally cover that. Bikana and I cover it. And I think we talk about it in her video as well. So someone is like, like is YouTube your only source of income? Yes! Oh my gosh, it's getting so dark, guys. This is like what I have left. A lot of shrimp. Anyway, so someone was like, do you have a workout routine? If so, what is it? My workout routines. I don't have a workout routine, but I do toning. But what I could suggest is you guys just stay active. Someone's like, do you think Jamaica will find a way to get the crime and corruption under control? My answer is no, because the same people that are in, the politicians are like the biggest corrupt people in the country. The MPs, the politicians. All those people underneath those brands, and that's a whole different discussion. So I don't think it will get solved because of them. They were literally the, the reasons why there's so much corruption down here. Someone's like, what do you prefer, Jamaican men or Canadian men? I would say watch my video with Vikana on dating experiences, but obviously it's Jamaican men. Someone is like, any curly hair advice? So if you're talking about real curly, curly hair, what I would say is my hair is not curly. My hair is more of like an afro texture. Like 4C, kinky, curly, or like 4A, I don't know. I just put hair oil in your hair just to promote hair growth and to keep your hair alive, okay? Someone's like, what did you study in uni? I literally have university vlogs on my channel of like fourth year, first year, third year. And I studied criminology and justice. And I have like vlogs of when I did my internship with the police at the headquarters. So you guys can literally watch all that. Someone's like, are you in a relationship? No. Someone's like, unrelated, but love your content. Thanks so much. Someone's like, are you single? Do you have any children? I don't have no children. Someone was like, do you think about the Jamaican Mandem? You ever thought about going out with one? Guys, I'm gonna have to link that video because so many people are interested in relationships and all that stuff. So I'm gonna link that video so you guys can watch. Someone was like, how or when did you know for sure that you wanted to move to Jamaica? Ever since I was like a little like child. Someone was like, what is dating like in Jamaica versus Canada? Is there a major difference? There is a major difference and I'm gonna talk about it in that video. I didn't know so many people like these things so i'm so glad i made that video for you guys to watch would you move to kingston for collaboration and content i wouldn't move to kingston but i would go a lot just to, for the collaboration and content i'm definitely not moving there someone's like can you phone me back yes i will and someone's like do you work obviously someone was like are you single yes someone's like did you dye your hair black back black yes <laughs> What inspired you to be a YouTuber? Now, what inspired me to be a YouTuber is that I've seen people doing YouTube and I was like, oh my God, they make money from YouTube doing whatever they want and the things that they love. I can do it too. That's the reason why I started YouTube. Someone was like, are you in a relationship? I've never seen you with anyone except that Jamaican vlogger in Canada. That's my sister's husband. And even if I was in one, like I, my social media is about me. I don't think I would show relationship stuff on my channel okay so that's it for today's video guys thanks for all the questions if you guys have any more questions i want you guys to comment down below now the food that i had i would give it like a five out of ten 
I just feel like it's the restaurant I go to. So again, you guys comment down below what restaurant I should try out and where I should go whenever I go back to Helsha. Let me know. Ask your questions down below. Put your assumptions down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for making this video possible by putting your assumptions down. I appreciate it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir.